When it comes to judgment, it is not always the criminal who ends up in prison. Many times there's been so many incidents where innocent people get wrongly accused for the things they never did and have to spend the rest of their lives in prison. I'm an innocent man, Your Honor, and I have always been an innocent man. Here are some of the reactions of convicts who were set free after they were proven innocent. 1. Susan Mellon Susan Mellon was an innocent woman who was convicted of murdering 30-year-old Richard James Daly, whose body was discovered in July 21, 1997, burning in a San Pedro alley and was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. The 42-year-old at the time ended up spending a total of 17 years in prison. She was at McDonald's buying her daughter a Happy Meal as she got arrested. Little did Mellon know that she wasn't going to be able to see her daughter Jessica for a span of 7 years straight. Throughout her trial, Mellon defended her innocence by stating that she was not involved in the murder. However, a woman named June Patty testified that Mellon had confessed to her on how she took Daly's life and that statement was enough for the jury to put Mellon in prison. After almost spending a whole decade followed by seven more years, it was later proved by the court that the informant who claimed Mellon to have killed someone was a pathological liar and also an unreliable source. When the case was re-examined, Patty's own reliability was called into doubt when her own sister, a Torrance police officer, called her a liar. Patty was then later recognized by investigators as an untrustworthy witness. Now Mellon's case has been finally overturned, the judgment has been overturned, the conviction has been thrown out, and as for Miss Mellon, the case has been dismissed. After being released, she took her daughter to McDonald's to deliver the long-awaited Happy Meal. California granted her $597,000 in compensation, and reportedly the Los Angeles City Council agreed to pay her a total of $12 million as compensation for the years she spent in jail. Number 2. John Bunn Bunn was at the age of 14 when he was arrested by the New York Police Department. John Bunn stated he was at home sleeping at the Kingsborough Housing Project in Brooklyn when a prison officer was killed following the injury of another. It was when he was eating breakfast cereal in his underpants when the detective involved in the case, Scarcella, and his associates barged in and busted him. He was then taken to a small room and handcuffed to a pole. Despite the lack of any physical proof connecting him to the gunshot outside the housing project, he was found guilty by a jury following a trial that lasted just over a day. He then had to spend a total of 27 years in prison without being able to prove his innocence. I'm an innocent man and I've always been an innocent man, John claims with tears in his eyes as he gets a chance to redeem himself. After fighting to clear his name for 27 years, his conviction was finally overturned due to Detective Scarcella's misconduct the fact that there was even any probable cause to arrest Bunn in the first place. Before leaving the courtroom, Bunn takes a moment to speak with a judge. Bunn later filed a lawsuit against the city of New York and Detective Scarcella. Number 3. Kirsten Lobato She was only 18 years old when Kirsten Lobato was wrongly accused twice for the murder of Duran Bailey, a homeless man from Las Vegas. All throughout her two trials, she maintained her innocence. However, she was convicted to first-degree murder and had to spend a total of 16 years in prison. So here's what happened. Lobato was attacked by a man in a parking lot and as a means to escape from him, she grabbed a pocket knife she had in her hand and slashed at the man's groin and escaped. She told this story to a few people. It was during this time Duran Bailey was brutally attacked, including his penis being removed. While investigation happened, police claimed it was Lobato who did the crime even though they had no evidence that she did it. After serving 16 years in prison, a new hearing was held with new evidence that established that the victim's death actually occurred on the day Lobato was three hours away with her family, demonstrating Lobato could not have possibly committed these crimes. And now that she's a free woman, let's hear what she has to say. I feel overwhelmed. I feel excited. I feel grateful. I'm just, I'm so happy. Even all of us feel happy for her, right fellas? Well, Lobato's compensation claim and the lawsuit against the Las Vegas Police Department is still undergoing. Number 4. Ricky Jackson Jackson was arrested in Cleveland, Ohio when he was 18 years old. The case's key witness was a 12-year-old boy named Eddie Vernon who said the police forced him to testify against Jackson even though he hadn't seen anything. Well, it was bad luck for Ricky because the statement of Eddie got him in prison for a total of 39 years. The boy I was before prison with all his dreams, all his intentions, he died the moment I was locked up, Jackson mentioned. When Eddie Vernon, aged 52, came forward and admitted that he had not witnessed the murder, accusations against Jackson were withdrawn. Jackson received $1 million from the state as compensation, plus an additional $2.65 million 
for income he lost whilst being in prison. After the case was cleared, Eddie Vernon spoke and met with Jackson and expressed his regret for having accused him and his friend. Jackson says he's grateful and forgives Vernon for what he did. He was just this goofy little kid who told a whopper. Besides, it wasn't only Vernon that put us there, it was the lawyers, the police, the whole broken system. And there are a lot of innocent men out there who are never going to get justice. In that sense, I feel lucky. Jackson is set free now. Watch how he reacts when the judge says, Mr. Jackson is going to be free to go. Life is filled with small victories and this is a big one. I wish you good luck. Number 5. David Ranta David Ranta spent a total of 22 years in prison for a murder he did not do. Ranta is yet another one of Luis Scarcella's wrongful convictions. There was no physical evidence connecting Ranta to the killing and the evidence presented to the jury was allegedly fabricated. Nonetheless, Ranta was convicted and given a sentence of 37 and a half years to life in prison after being put in a police lineup ran by Scarcella. But after serving more than 20 years in prison, the former witnesses acknowledged that they were coerced into giving a false testimony against Ranta and he finally got justice. The judge then says to say that I'm sorry for what you have endured would be an understatement and grossly inadequate. But I say to you anyway, the defendant's most Motion to vacate the judgment of conviction is granted. Following this, his handcuffs were removed and he goes to hug his family members. According to reports, he earned $200,000 from the state and $6.4 million settlement from the city of New York as compensation for being in prison for something he didn't convict. Number 6. Daniel Villegas Villegas was a 16-year-old boy when he was sentenced to 18 years of life in prison for a double homicide he didn't even do. In April 1993, four adolescents were shot as they walked home from a party in El Paso, Texas, and Villegas was the victim of the panic that engulfed the neighborhood. Two of the youngsters were shot dead while running away and escaping after being exposed to questioning tactics that included the fear of being sent to prison and sexually molested by other inmates. A couple of his own friends and family provided statements against Villegas. Villegas was additionally threatened with beatings, sexual abuse, and the death penalty The five-hour all-night interrogation. Villegas signed the investigator's typed confession out of exhaustion and fear even though it was way different from the crime scene evidences. Villegas tried his best to take back his wrong confession, but before he knew it, he was arrested and charged with capital murder. Almost two decades after the incident, Villegas is found not guilty and is set free. Watch how he collapses in tears hearing the happy news. Verdict form B. We, the jury, find the defendant Daniel Villegas not guilty of... Number 7. Luis Vargas Luis Vargas was charged for three sexual assaults and was sentenced to 55 years in prison, even though he didn't convict any of those. During his trials, he remained innocent and when he was sentenced to life in prison without parole, he said to the jury, I will pray for God's mercy in all of you, but as far as I'm concerned, as far as I'm concerned, the individual who really did these crimes might really be raping someone out there, might really be killing someone out there. Police came to the conclusion that the same person was responsible for all three attacks based on the similarities in these crimes' descriptions. Vargas was later found guilty in all counts and sentenced to a total of 16 years in prison until the California Innocence Project conducted a DNA test on the last piece of physical evidence and clothing belonging to one of the victims and found that there was no match. Vargas was presumed innocent. He even received $886,000 as state compensation for being wrongly accused. That's all for today, people. See you next time. Bye for now.